Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add another user to your website. This is really useful if you've got a web designer or a developer doing some work for you and you need to be able to add them so that they can have access to the site. So this is what your WordPress dashboard looks like. When you've logged in, this is pretty much what you're going to see. You might have a few extra things displayed here, but it doesn't matter. What you need to do is come on down and on the left here, you're going to find an option that says users. So I just need you to hover over that and then come on over and click add new. And this is where you would add in a user. So put in a username. It doesn't have to be the same as an email address or it can be. Then put in the person's email that you're adding. Enter their first name and their last name. The website isn't necessary. And then you can add in a password or generate a password. And when you've done this, make sure that you click this because that's going to send an email to the email address you put in up here. So it's going to let the user know that you've added them and give them a link that they can click and follow through so they can log into the website for themselves. Finally, here you have role. Now, this is the type of user uh, access that they get. So a subscriber doesn't really have that much in the way of access. A contributor can add things uh, to certain posts. An author can create and publish posts. Editors can manage things like posts and pages, but they don't have access to plugins and sort of the inner workings of the site. And then an administrator is what you would be putting down as a designer or a developer, because this gives them full access to the website and will allow them to create everything for you. And it's that simple to add a new user to your WordPress website. They'll get an email, they'll be able to log in and take it from there. I'm Jack with Jack in the Net. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.